Greetings, creators. Welcome to episode number six of Create with Cubelets. In this episode, we'll explore the main screen of Cubelets Blockly. If you need to download Cubelets Blockly, just visit modrobotics.com slash cubelets slash apps. Start by connecting the battery cubelet and hat, then power on. On the Cubelets Blockly pairing screen, you should see your cubelet appear below step number two. Select it to connect. Or if you want to jump directly into Blockly programming without pairing, you can press this little skip to link in the lower right. This will take you to the main Blockly screen where you can create, load, and save programs. But you won't be able to actually program a specific cubelet until you've paired with a robot construction. Press this little exclamation point to return to the pairing screen. From here, make sure your Bluetooth hat has been selected, then click connect. This returns you to the main Blockly screen. There are a few main parts of the Blockly screen. On the left is the Blockly Blocks menu. It contains all of the available code blocks for creating Blockly programs. Just click and drag a block to bring it to the canvas. Just like that, it's pretty easy. The canvas is the main window for creating and editing Blockly programs. On the canvas, there are some controls. The first will center your Blockly program on the canvas. You can also move around the canvas by clicking and dragging on the blank white area. There are also buttons that allow you to zoom in and zoom out. You can also trash Blockly blocks by dragging them to the trash, or you can delete a block using the delete key. Above the canvas, you have a small menu of icons. The first three are for creating, saving, and loading Blockly programs. The fourth icon returns you to the pairing menu. To the right of these buttons is the block map, which is a small representation of the robot you are paired with. If you click on a block in the block map, it will select the block and give you some additional information and options. This includes technical information about the block. You can see if it's running custom code, as well as some details regarding firmware and hardware. Below the technical information, there are a couple of buttons. One restores the default program or personality to the cubelet. And the next one is the program selected cubelet button, which will take the current open tab and send that program to the cubelet. Finally, in the upper right hand corner is the help button, which will give you a few different options for troubleshooting. Remember, if you're having trouble and can't find a fix, you can always reach out to our support team at support at modrobotics.com. This concludes this episode covering the main areas of Cubelets Blockly. Watch the next episode to get an overview of how to create, name, and save a Blockly program. Until next time, have fun creating with Cubelets.